Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another video here on my Simply Happy Marlo channel. So today's video is all about staying warm, especially when you live in a cold environment like I do. Now, of course, some of these tips and tricks and hacks are great for wherever you may live, even if it just gets a little bit cold for you. Uh, now, here where I live in Pennsylvania, it tends to get very cold and snow, of course, and ice and sleet and all of those wonderful weather conditions. And some of you may be in different areas in California or perhaps in the south where you're just getting maybe 30 or 40 as your lowest temperature. But either way, I want to help you guys stay warm. So let's start this off with being at your closet. So as I'm sure many of you have, you already have a long sleeve shirt and you're thinking, okay, I have a long sleeve shirt, obviously know how to do that. I already have it in my closet. But then you're thinking, I really want to wear a cute top and that one is short sleeve, but I also want to stay warm. So I have a trick for you. If y'all haven't figured it out yet, all you need to do is put one on top. And voila, there you go. You've got your layering and your warmth and it keeps you warm. So let's move on to the next trick and hack. As I've mentioned in, I'm sure several other videos, I love to have my double insulated bottle. Now this bottle happens to be from Swell. I will make sure in the description to link them below. They keep any hot beverages hot for 12 hours and any cold beverages cold for 24 hours. So I highly advise invest in one of these. Now there are other companies nowadays that have come out with cheaper versions but are still just as good as quality. So if you can't afford a swell bottle, I highly recommend you check out some of these other companies. But I definitely recommend, excuse me, investing in a double insulated bottle like this. Not only does it not, of course, sweat, which is a major plus, you can throw it in any bag, not have to worry about anything in your bag getting wet, or if it's a hot beverage, a cold beverage, sweating, you don't have to worry about anything like that. And for the benefits I already mentioned, it's definitely worth it and Believe me, I guarantee you, it pays for itself in just a couple of uses. Now, let's move on to some other hacks. Okay, so you've got your layering, you've got your clothes down, you're getting ready to step out the door. Now, of course, to stay warm, you are gonna need a few accessories. For example, scarves. Now, any scarf will do, but I, for example, love these because you don't have to worry about like wrapping them around. You can just put them on, they kind of wrap around by themselves. And ta-da, there you go. You keep your neck warm, you can always bring it up a little to keep your face warm if it's that cold. And super stylish, super comfy. And if they're big enough, you can wrap it around a couple of times. And voila. Now, next thing, a lot of people don't always remember to think about this but it is always good to have is earmuffs now of course if you have something that covers your ears that's great but if you don't it's always good to have something like that so they keep your ears nice and warm and toasty they muffle of course you know anything going on um, a little bit but they're still super comfortable and Keep your ears super, super warm. Next hack, of course, to stay warm, gloves. Now, there's a whole bunch of great gloves I highly recommend, um, and I could probably list a bunch for you guys in the description. However, we all seem to be, you know, of course, attached to our phones, our tablets, our iPads, and such. 
So I highly recommend getting a pair of gloves that are touch screen allowable. So you can use your touch screen, your phones, your tablets, whatever, and still not have to take your gloves off. So you can of course use them in the cold. So check out ones like this. They're usually sold. Um, I'll try to link like a pair or two uh, from Target. And this, hap this pair happens to be from Target. If I can find the exact pair, I will link them down below. If not, I'll just find a pair that are touchscreen um, allowable. And then next thing is it's always good to have a set of beanies, a set of hats. Now I have some really cute ones. I got this one, for example, from the dollar store that says Girl Power. Uh, I just have a regular blue one that my father gave me many years ago that I like to use in extreme cold temperatures because it has fleece lining inside. And then I have one that is always seems to be my go-to pretty much in any kind of cold weather. Um, and it's just, it has like fleece material inside and plus it is super cute. It has the penguin, it has little braids that hang out and it is just super comfortable. It keeps my head all nice and toasty and well prepared for the snow that I'm about to head in. Now let's move on to some lip care and some skin care. Now let's move on to lip care and skin care. Now my favorite two kinds of lip care to keep my lips moisturized during the winter months is pretty much any lip balm or chapstick by the company chapstick i happen to have a red velvet flavored lip balm and it is absolutely amazing it keeps my lips nice and moisturized especially during the day when i'm out and about whether it's going to work or running errands or, or meetings or such and my favorite night lip balm is actually from the dollar tree so i can't necessarily link it below but you'll see these everywhere they're little like Dollar Tree versions of the EOS lip balms. And you just do the same thing like you would in EOS and put them on. They really, sincerely, they're a buck and they protect my lips so extremely well overnight that when I wake up in the morning and my whole place is super you know, humidified because I use a humidifier, which I'll go into next, then my lips aren't all dried out. They're well moisturized and ready for the day. Now, when it comes to skincare, my favorite two kinds are, one of them is actually from Bath & Body Works. Any lotion of theirs will do, but my absolute favorite kind for moisturize, uh, for get it, being moisturized is the Shea and Vitamin E body lotions. This one happens to be Wild Madagascar Vanilla. And I bought this, I wanna say a year or two ago, I think is when it came out. Um, and any of their lotions will do, but the Shea and Vitamin E body lotions tend to be the most moisturizing. And then also when I'm out and about and I just need something and I don't wanna be carrying a bottle like this around in my purse, I like to carry around the Gold Bond Ultimate Skin Therapy Cream. This one is healing with aloe, heals, dries, problem skin. It has vitamin A, C, and E, and it says it penetrates fast, it's non-greasy, and it is a fresh, clean scent, which I highly, highly love. Um, I highly recommend, sorry, and love. And it says it uh, is good for 24-hour moisturization, which is awesome. And it definitely keeps my skin all nice and moisturized. I also do recommend uh, the uh, Loa Cetan de Provence hand cream. That one is really good for your hands to keep them moisturized during the winter. Now let's move on to two little electronics that do very well at keeping moisturized during the winter months so that your skin, your lips, and your whole body don't dry out. All right, so it is time for these little things that are portable and are wonderful to have in any home or even in any office. And I will make sure as best, to my best ability to link these items down below or such like items. But my absolute favorite thing is my humidifier. Now I use this on a regular basis. I fill it up 
the evening before and use it all throughout the evening. I keep it on the highest setting. It goes usually down to about, I would say, an inch or two inches worth of water left that I don't have to fill up the next morning. And then I just fill it up, use it again the next day while I'm asleep. It keeps my apartment, my room nice and uh, humidified so that my skin, my lips, my whole body doesn't dry out, which is a must during the winter. And then this next thing is something I actually reviewed in a video and I will make sure to link it below is my little space heater. It is an absolutely wonderful portable uh, machine that you can take with you anywhere and it is an amazing amount of heat for a for a small space. It heats up uh, decent like sized rooms pretty well too um, but since I have a small apartment it does just the trick at heating up my room just enough when I don't have the heat in my apartment on. So I highly rec recommend one of these uh, just for a just for your you know a, maybe a small room or if you want to you know it's a great item to bring to your workplace um, inside your little workstation to keep you all nice and toasty now let's move on to one of the last things that you guys should know and should have if you are in cold climates and something that's always just good to have in the winter because they keep your toes warm all right, so you're all set and ready to head out the door. You've got your lips moisturized, your skin moisturized, you've got a hat, a scarf, mittens, the works. And you're, so you're ready to head out. Now, I highly recommend three different kinds of shoes when you're heading out, depending on the weather. Now, of course, if you live in a cold environment, especially in the Northeast like I do, I highly recommend getting a pair of snow boots. They have good traction on the bottom for snow and for ice so that you don't fall. Good lace up, a little fur at the top. These are amazing. Now, I will try my best to link these in the description below. I actually got mine from Kmart, which I think is now out of business. RIP Kmart. But, I got these from Kmart. They were the best $30 or $40 I've ever spent and they work just as well as some of those more expensive snow boots that you'll see around. Of course, Sorel, any of those different brands are really great. They're a little more expensive, obviously, but ones like those will do just as well as the more expensive ones. If you are just heading out in cold weather, but it's not necessarily that much snow or it's just chilly, uh, chilly weather. Sorry, Roxy's behind me. Hi, Rox. Um, then you want to get yourself a pair of boots. These are from Payless, so I will link them down below. They're super comfortable. They have fur. They have like fake, you know, fleece fur uh, on the inside, and it goes all throughout the shoe, and it keeps your feet nice and warm. And then. For just you know simply chilly weather that uh, that you want to wear boots for I have a pair like this now of course these are from a local store so I can't exactly link them but I will try and find a uh, I will try and find a style maybe from like Payless so it's affordable for you guys that are similar to these and they are just amazing I've had these for four and a half years and they're starting to wear a little bit, as I'm sure you guys can see. Um, but they are terrific nonetheless, and they do just the trick in the warmest of cold weather or the coldest of cold weather. They really hold up really well, and that's what's, of course, important in cold temperatures. So that is my video for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and make sure to tune in to more videos coming up. I post every two weeks, so make sure to check back. I hope you like this video, so if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And to stay tuned to more videos coming your way, make sure to subscribe by the red button down below and hit that bell button so you get notified whenever I upload. Thanks for checking in, 
and watching this video. I hope you enjoy some of my other videos as well and stay happy.